So the project that we're doing is called the Sound System Project and it's a youth-based music project where we build a 12-volt sound system with the young people and we make music, write lyrics and shoot a video at the end of it, bring everyone together as a community around the sound system. The main source of inspiration for this is the knowledge that we wouldn't be where we are, uh, being able to travel as musicians without the help of the generations that came before us and the doors that they opened to let us through. And that's what we're really trying to push here is more open doors and more platforms for young people to express themselves. Um, in terms of skills and knowledge that the kids pick up along the way, uh, we hope that one of the main things we leave here is a sense of confidence in yourself and that, that you can do things and you can try music and express yourself. Um, that's probably the, the main thing we hope we can leave as well as a few tips on how to write songs, use production software and of course how to, to look after the sound system that's now in the community. I think it's good to have a project like this for the Ragman community because it brings everybody together, not only through the music, but through going around the community, making the music video. It's just really cool for the community to have something like that because it's not every day we have people like Anders come to Raglan and do something like this for us, you know? And making the speakers that we made and being able to keep them in our community and share it with everybody else, that's just so cool. I think the whole community benefits off that. If once you're doing something that you love and enjoy and get to see somebody else pull that out of themselves, it's really, really beautiful. And then the spark goes in their eyes, they feel confident and joy in something they've made. And when you hear them mention, oh, that's the speaker I built, or that's the tune that we made, it, it's just amazing, yeah. It's really amazing, and because they see the worth in it as well. And at that point, it's their, what they're getting out of it that's most important. And uh, watching them spark off little ideas between each other, and one person's idea leads into another, and then just giving the chance when they're being a bit silly to realise that actually that silliness, if you catch hold of that silliness and make that into the idea, then everybody else feels a bit more comfortable in suggesting another idea. And so you just end up with this stack up, stack up, stack up feeling until they've made something and they realise they've made it through enjoyment and having fun together rather than being serious about it. Yeah, um, Tom and Anders as facilitators were really fun. Uh, they weren't far off being kids themselves, which made them perfect. And, and just the approach was very light, you know, like don't get stuck on the small stuff, just don't worry about perfectionism, get in there, hey, you've got to get something done and you know, we're doing it tonight, write a verse, write a hook. I'm not going to overanalyze it, but I'm just going to get it done. And by doing it in that approach, I think it's just made everyone a lot more comfortable. It didn't have to be too serious. It was more about getting something done and then being able to reflect on it later. And, and if you needed to tweak it, you could. I would guess that some of the, the fundamental lessons would be how much can be achieved in a short amount of time when you've got tools at hand and a bunch of people that everyone can work as a team to produce um, a piece of art, a piece of music. Um, uh, many hands make light work and in this day and age of a lot of individualism I think that makes really strong points. It definitely applies to, we, we try to lower the expectation in the first sessions so that there's no worry for any of the participants involved whether or not they've done music before or not done it before. And in many cases we're working with people that have had no experience in anything. And we try to show that um, yeah, there is worthwhile in just trying and creating a positive environment where they feel confident in just achieving. So whether they make one tune, whether they take part for one day, whether they even make it for an hour, it doesn't matter. The point is they're turning up and taking part in something as a group and as a community. Well, in terms of the future for this project and what we hope will come out of it, um, is an ongoing uh, momentum with the sound system. We'd love to see it being used around the, the community, whether it's in schools, whether it's uh, in conjunction with festivals like Sound Splash or, uh, you know, up at Soulscape and all these beautiful places around the community. We'd love to see the young people being involved in the sound's use 
throughout that and, and uh, that momentum carrying on and hopefully inspiring more young people to get involved. The Sound System project inspired me to help the younger people at our school, you know, maybe continue doing what Anders and they did for us because without them here, other kids can't experience that. So us older students can continue doing it in our school and pass on the knowledge that they gave us to them and they can keep passing it on to the other students that come to our school. It's cool to use something that we made for something that we love. I guess music can bring people together, you know.